Hey everyone, Odd here with some breaking news. I'm watching uh, Sergey Lavrov speak uh, exclusively in an RT, RT interview right now live. And um, he's pretty much saying, you know, that uh, he, they don't want war with the United States, but the United States has left them no choice. So they continue to push their UN bloc um, on all of these other nations surrounding Russia. Russia is feeling threatened and surrounded by this. And um, they said that they've been having deep discussions. Um, they can't really talk much about the discussions, but he's pretty much saying that these uh, discussions look grim. And he said that it doesn't look like uh, e either side's going to get what they want, and uh, the inevitable may happen. Um, he says they don't want this, but they feel threatened by the UN, or not the UN, but sorry, the um, the NATO push for this block for uh, um, Ukraine to join NATO. And they've said they feel like they have no choice in the matter but to take action. Um, if uh, things don't meet the criteria that both sides are looking for, they were he was speaking about the Minsk Agreement and how the United States has been breaking this agreement for a long time and then wants to push on Russia because they took Crimea. Um, he blamed the United States for destabilizing the Middle East. He's pretty much saying that the United States is a problem and that if they don't want to um, solve this issue, Russia will have no choice and will respond militarily if necessary. He said they don't want war, but... They'll definitely go to war if necessary. But I also have more breaking news here on my on this RT app. Um, of course, you already know about the Kremlin uh, comments on halt of Russian gas supplies to Germany. But um, I just got more news in um, from RT that Germany's uh, RT broadcasting satellite or broadcasting satellite has terminated uh, broadcasting service to RT in Germany right now while this is going on. Um, let me go ahead and find that for you here real quick. I just had it up, but, um, yeah, so this is, uh, getting very, very interesting. Here it is, right here. Berlin forces EU satellite operator to take RT's German TV broadcast off the air. This, um, just popped here about, uh, uh 35 minutes ago. <clears throat> um, it says, we believe the amounts to illegal pressure and are confident this action will be redressed by the courts. We will be seeking all possible remedies against the German regulator, and our audience can continue to access our content across multiple platforms and online. So Germany just took RT off the internet, or off offline. Um, yeah, this is getting uh, this is getting serious, folks. Um, we need to prepare. Um, I don't think that. This is going to end in any other way, but war. Russia is feeling emboldened now because they believe they have more sophisticated and powerful weapons, and they believe they have the upper hand for once. And while they have the upper hand, you really think that they're going to let a good opportunity go to waste? Especially that since they have a 200 million man army, it's China on, them, on their side, the bear and the red dragon coming together to take down the eagle and the lion, Britain and the United States to destroy Western democracy as we know it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that. I'm going to continue to watch this live update um, that's going on. I'll fill you all in with the information if you guys uh, aren't watching it yourselves. And, um, yeah, if you guys are watching it, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, this is serious. So, as always, I love you guys. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.